Hello, welcome back. This is Kenji1913, and we are Let's Playing Sukaden 5 bonus episodes. And as you can see, I am at the end of the game. I figured I might as well show the final battle again. I might speed it up, I don't know. I'm, I mean, obviously I can't speed up through here, but through the magic of video editing. You're earlier than I expected. But yeah, so, I guess uh, I underestimated you again. I'm gonna kill the shit out of this guy. Even though that's precisely the reason our side lost. Lord Godwin. Don't worry. The reason I melted that glacier was to lead you all here. So, I had yeah. no intention of flooding. We're gonna Falena. see what your I love Falena as much does. as you do, you know. Then tell me, why? Why did you kill so many people? Why did you destroy so many lives? Tell me why! Tell me why. I wanted Falena to be a strong, a prosperous country. I truly did. Well, you can't go militarily. But I think we became spellbound by the power of the Sun Rune before we even realized it. Yeah, well, it's power that corrupts. We started to think that absolute justice was on our side, and that it was all right to destroy anyone who disobeyed. Just like Queen Arshtat. But don't misunderstand. I'm not saying that all of this happened because the sun yeah, rune maybe, bewitched me. Maybe this is one rune that needs to be Actually, destroyed. Actually, it's more like, like I chose to, to let the sun rune's power intoxicate me, and in the end, I lost. You know what I mean? But what about you, the victors in all this? Can you really say you're all that different from us? Yeah, because I'm... Can you swear to me you will pass the sun rune on to the next generation without getting lost in its power? Sure, I can. Idealistic youth. If you speak the truth, then prove it to me! Alright, Dracula. I mean, Ronaldo. Alright, so it's time to take the, take on the incarnation of the Sun Room. And, uh, fun fact, Felina means moth in Italian, apparently. That's why the boss is a moth. I never put that together earlier, but whatever. I don't care. Anyways, here's my setup. I'm just gonna beat the shit out of it. I'm just gonna use this. Wait a minute. Yeah, let's see how nice this will be. Eh, not too shabby. She gets to use that twice. I'd almost say it's cheating. I'm gonna just go right after the sun room. Twilight room. You'd do better at just attacking than you would. Anyways, this uh, final boss is pretty easy. Yay for power. Yay for power. Yay for rainbows. Switch out Bernadette. Oh. These guys ain't dying, huh? Let's see how this does. Yeah, I changed up my formation. I think I gotta use that attack magic. I 
wonder if I could chain this twice. That's the only move you've got. Yeah. figure that, uh, Keely, since he's on level 99, his attack's probably better than his magic, so that's why I didn't bother with it. Yay, power of the rainbow. endings to this game I'm just showing the best one the thing about this is like let's say you didn't collect 108 stars Leon would actually die and the prince would go off depending on how well you treated Lim or not the prince would go the prince would go with his sister or he would go on a journey with George Blah, blah, blah. See, this ending was alright with uh, her, you know, almost dying. But the thing about it is, it's like, it's not as, uh, it's not as uh, powerful as, like, Gremio or, or something. Or Naname. And now you got Ghost Leon. Let's go back together, home prince. Oh, don't worry, I'm gonna just go have a pie. No, oh, don't worry, pie is good, I like it. I'll see you on the other side. It's been a pleasure working with you. Disappeared. Leon. Oh shit, classic. Good guy falls in the woods. Now he's crying. Can't 
Get up, my son. You are puss. Crying over a woman? Mom, Dad! How are you still alive and stuff? And the good is his silence. Hey, kid. Why don't you go get me a pie? Because I'd like it. Yeah. Uh, go get me some chicken, too. Why not? And look, here's my husband, Gizzle. Hey, I'm a good guy, apparently. Yeah, that's uh, what I do. Here's my dad. Yeah, he's a good guy, too. Yep, they're all good guys. Yeah, let's, let's pledge our allegiance to dead. We'll pledge their allegiance. Hey! Yay! The Godwins are all dead. Yay! How's this even happening? All I want is my girlfriend back. Listen, son, don't be a puss. You hear me? You get your woman back any way you can. Yeah, you hear me? Look, all the all the weird. This is why the ending was so weird. It's like, what the hell? I think it's just because those guys were like in close proximity with the god with the sun rune. Maybe I don't know. They're all victims of it in a way. And now Frasier Door is like, hey, lady, line, you're with me again. I love you. I love you. I do. Hello. Oh, that was all in my head. Look, you're back. Well, you died, and then I went to hell to find you. Hey, Lechnot. Didn't you already say your name earlier? So I'm pretty sure each, now well, let's see, Soul, Re Soul Reaver, Soul Reaver, Soul, was it Soul Reaver? Or am I thinking of, uh, what that Soul Reaver is from Cain? What was the, uh, Soul Reaper? Soul, why oh, can't I remember the Soul Eater? There we go. Now the sun the Soul Eater rune could revive the people. The Dawn night. Shield can revive people, or at least heal them. Um, True Fire rune didn't do that. And then the uh, Dawn Rune of Destruction also did that as well. The, uh, what the hell was the name of the... What the hell was the name of the, uh, the rune in, in the fourth game? Oh, well, rune of punishment. Right, right, right. That was able to restore life, sort of. Well, actually, no, it didn't. It just didn't kill him. So there you go. Lucerina's sad because she wanted to nail Frasiador. I mean, who didn't? To be honest. Are you sure about this? Yeah, I'm gonna put her back under water. Well, Looks like I was actually able to keep my promise to Farad. Man, yeah, now you can go off and go help out another guy with a true rune. George! Your eye! Ah, uh, yes. My eye. Well, I was injured in battle long ago, as well, I said. Well, you know, you still have but that eye shadow eyes, on the red stuff there. I can there. see just fine. The eye patch was just to remind myself to never get overconfident. What? Are you serious? Why didn't you ever tell us? <laughs> Don't be Well, mad. you never asked. <laughs> you always oh. thought I was a pirate. <laughs> oh, by the way, I've decided to leave Felena. Why? What? Well, no, I, but why I don't blame you. No matter what the circumstances, the fact remains that I killed the queen. I killed the queen? I can't remain in I this country for having committed such an act. George. Where will you go? 
So, what plans do you two have? So instead of answering it, uh, I don't really care. Nothing's going to change for me. I'll go wherever the prince goes to protect him. Well, if you're not sure, why don't you come with me? Huh? Yeah, so let's go on a journey with George. Uh, we might as well sh show something a little different, I guess. All is as it should be. Yeah, look at yes. her. Yes, I'm sure nothing like that will ever happen again. Yeah, thanks, room keeper. Indeed. <laughs> And there you go. She's gone, and you'll never see her again in the Sukunin universe. Ah, that kind of stinks. All right. So instead of helping out Lim, we're I guess this is you know all right. We're showing a, a new adventure with George and Leon. Even though they should probably. Uh, hey, there's Egan and all them. They should probably stay with their sis his sister. Yeah, so if it, yeah, what the hell? You know what? This is a good idea to show this shit rather than the other way. So you get to see kind of both endings, I guess. Although you'll never see the one where everyone's dead. Look at all these guys. We're all on boats. Where where are we going? Hey, Kyle's in a different gear. Hey, there's all those guys. Put your hands in the air and wave them like you just don't care. And when you something, 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 and everybody shout, oh yeah. Roy's not waving. Come on, he does care. How oh, Raja's waving double there, huh? I didn't even collect all five of them again. Who are they waving to? Are they waving to George and the prince and all that? Jesus Christ, what is this? The Island Nations? Look at all these boats. separate ways. This is the Island Nations, isn't it? Where's Laszlo? be somewhere in like 18 years so let's not like let's not fart around with them that much two narwhals and yeah, George has got to be in Tinto in like 18 years so let, yeah like I said let's try not to uh, let's try not to make him uh, you know do his thing you know he's got to go b back there and head north. Anyway, so that was this another ending where, yeah. So there you go, Fraser door. He slips out of the night. And he doesn't help his sister. What a dick, right? Although she's probably more than capable. So yeah, he's gonna go home and teach the young. What is he gonna teach him? How to be tanks? Stays by his side long after the journey ends. Well, maybe he does come home then. Unless, meaning he died first. 
here we go. Urim gives up status and state. Uses his family to restore the queendom. Look at that. So there you go. There's Urim. And there's... That's pretty much the whole reason why I did this, in fact. So, just to get one line of dialogue there. But yeah. It's kind of a shame. It's over, guys and gals. This is it. This is all they wrote. Sukoden. Now, you're probably saying, well, there's one more Sukoden game, isn't there? That one Sukoden, uh, Tekris or whatever, or how, how, how the hell you call it. Well, I don't plan on playing that game. I don't consider it a Sukoden game. When I first heard that that game was coming out, I was kind of pumped because I was like, oh shit, new Sukoden game. Then after I looked at it, and even, even Brock Cold when he played it, I wasn't impressed. Brock Cold was doing an LP of it, and I just was like, nah, not impressed. Parts with the Queen Brother returns to the Northern Continent and becomes involved in several regional conflicts. So there you go, George only hangs out with the with Frejador for just a bit. But yeah, so uh you know, I, I didn't consider that a Sukoden game, and and even though you had to collect 108 stars and the story didn't seem too bad, I just wish that they... Why did they... Like, Sukoden... Uh, Suko... Whoops. Whoopsie. Suko Gaiden... Sorry about that. Suko Gaiden kind of shows off, uh... A, like, an aspect of what the, uh, Suko... Suko... Sukoden T, I'm gonna call it, because I can't pronounce that last word. Anyways... Um, Sugaden T, kind of like what it, what it talks about, like, so, in that game, you know, there were different dimensions, like, different monsters came from different dimensions, and they kind of went through that in Sugaden 3, too, a little bit, talking about different dimensions and all that, and, uh, so what the Sugaden T apparently did was said, let's take that idea and blow it up, because it is true that even in Sukoden 4, there was a little bit of that whole uh, different dimensions kind of thing, but uh, or different worlds, like in the essence of like there's a world of dragons, there's a world of monsters, there's a world of this, that, and the other. And uh, I don't know, I just didn't want to see that. We have this one world that that uh, we got this one world that we could have checked out even more. There, there are more stories to be told for sure need to know more about the rest of the 27, uh, 28 true runes, was it? Or was it 27? I don't remember, but, uh, yeah, we need to know more about it, so, Konami, granted, you're going, you're going down the shitter, uh, as a company, and who knows how much longer you'll be around, maybe you could sell off the rights to this game to some company that cares. And we can continue on with the stories, bring out Sukoden 6. I even heard there was one for the PSP, but that wasn't, it didn't have anything to do with this world. See, even if you have to make one final one and make it about all 27 true runes and hell, bring back everybody, all the, uh, all the main heroes, because they should all still have the true runes unless something happened in which you can explain that. You know what I mean? That would be awesome. But it probably will never happen, so... It's just wistful thinking, and yeah, since Konami is kind of going to shit, there probably will never be another Sukoden game. Hell, Konami's going to shit so bad that, like, whatever the hell they did, I don't know exactly what they did with Hideo Kojima, but they screwed that up. And, uh... It just sucks. Sucks balls. Hell, you might never see another Castlevania. You probably won't see another Silent Hill. I heard they were just getting they're not even they weren't even gonna deal with console games, so it does suck. But uh yeah. It's kinda sad because this series, I love it. I love this series. It was so original. It was like all these characters, three different types of fighting. It was just really, really good. And now, it's kind of over. I mean, you, we can always enjoy it again by replaying anything. But, uh, 
And even though, the interesting thing I was thinking about is even though I beat, even though I play these games on Let's Plays, like sometimes I feel like, oh, that's the last time I'll probably end up playing that. But the thing about it is, it's like, it, it doesn't have to be. It doesn't have to be the last time you play a game, you can always go back and play it. But, uh, yeah, so... I don't really know what to say. I think this series is really, really good, and I really, really will miss it. I mean, I, I kind of, you know, I, let's see. How many series have I completed? I've pretty much done all the Dragon, uh, Dragon Quest games. But there's still hope for that series to come back and have more games. Breath of Fire kind of is over. I mean, they're bringing out a fifth, sixth one, but... I have no idea when, I don't even know if it'll come to the States, but this one, this is like the third big series that I've finished, and it's just, it's, it's kind of sad, but like I said, uh, when I finished it, uh, when, I re when I finished it originally, I said, you know, you gotta move on, and there are gonna be new games, more fun to, to have, and of course you can you can always come back, or I can always come back and relive the memories of this game by watching it. And stuff like that. So, uh... Yeah. I don't really know what else to say other than, uh... It was a great series. This was definitely a really good game. If I had to put it on the... I'd have to put it at, uh... Let's see. So, two's my favorite, for, for sure. Then it's probably one, and then... Three four or five. I think it's five and then four and then three. Three, I liked, but there was a lot of elements that I didn't like, but there were a lot of elements in that game that I did love, too. So, it, it, it all depends how you wanted, how you wanted to, uh, how you want to number them. I, they're all very good. Even four was very good, you know. I don't care if it was short and and kind of rushed and people didn't like that you only fought with four characters and stuff like that. It was just good. It was. Good. But on the series overall, if you have watched them all now, uh, pretty much. If you haven't played these games, I highly suggest that you do pick them up wherever you can. Play them for yourself. Enjoy the mythos that is Sukunen throughout. From from a hundred years in the past to well, let's let's start off with the first one. The first one, obviously, let's count that as main time. Then three years later is Sukoden, or five, three or five years later is Sukoden two, and then um, fifteen years later is Sukoden three. Then a hundred years before the first one is Sukoden 4, and then this is 15 years before Sukoden 1. So there you go. Anyways, yeah. That's, I don't have anything else to say. But, uh, just a terrific game. Terrific series. And like I said, check, check it out. I heard there's a couple of, like, ROM hacks or whatever of where they've, they've made a game similar to Sukunen where you fight with six characters and stuff. I might check it out in the future, but not now. Some plans that I do have for the future LPs, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll tell you what the hell. If you've been sticking with me this far in this video, then I'll tell you. Um, I am going to be starting Saga Frontier 2. Probably in a couple days after this has been uploaded. I want to, well, maybe in a day or two actually after this has been uploaded. Um, and then I'm going to be playing uh, a couple computer games Point Click Adventure King's Quest, the classic King's Quest. I want to do a couple of those. I've still got a couple of laptop LP games or videos lined up uh, Dragon Ball Z. Legacy or Boo's Fury, and then I'm gonna play. I'm not sure what I'm gonna play after that, but it'll probably still be something on the Game Boy, uh, the Game Boy Advance emulator. I'm not sure if I'm gonna do Shining Force or 
Deja Vu or another DBZ game. I think I might actually take a break from the DBZ, maybe do something else. But yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm not going to show this again. It, it's, it's the same as it was before. So, uh, thank you for watching. I hope you've all enjoyed Let's Play Sukunen 5. I hope you all enjoyed the entire series. I hope I did it justice. Um, and that's about it. So, I have been Kench1913, and I will see you in the next Let's Play. Bye-bye.